Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to think when we are preparing the CKA test certification. We are going to see how to work with a complex exercise. And the exercise that we have today is the one that you can see here in the screen. We have a pot that in the readiness proof is pointing to an URL that is an endpoint created with a service. But the point here and the trick is that this service is pointing to another pod. But the most interesting part is that when we start the exercise, we only have a service. Service, am I ready? We start with our service here and we have defined in the service an ID called cross server ready. This ID is the key of all the exercise. Now, what we need to do is we need to create a pod ready if service ready that will be pointing to the readiness proof to the URL service and I ready. This URL is set up in the service pointing to the endpoint am I ready with the ID cross server ready that will be set it up in the service as you see in the pod. It's complex, but later on you will see that it's super simple. First thing that we need to do, we need to start with kubectl get all, and then we will see that there is a service, the service that we were telling before. Now we need to create our first pod. And to learn how to do that, the best thing that we can do is check in the Kubernetes documentation page, because as you know, when we are in the certification, we can open this page. If we search and we write liveness proof, if we go down, we can see that there is a pod example that if we copy and we create a file, in this case called ready if service ready, and we paste the code, we need to remove the parts that are not needed in our case change the ID and the component name. And now we need to change the image and use busybox image. And after that, what we need to do is set up the liveness prof with the command true and the readiness prof with the command sh minus e double get and all the line that we had before. And then the service is ready. Now we need to apply the YAML file that we created with kubectl apply minus f and the name of the file. If we execute kubectl get all again, we can see that the pod is running. But if we run kubectl describe pod ready if service ready, we can see that there is a problem. And the problem is that the readiness prof is failing. And the reason is because we point to the service, but the service is not pointing to the second pod. That's, this is the one that we need to create. Next step is create the new pod that is missing. To do that, we start copy the previous YAML file in this new one. We edit again the file and the first thing that we have to do is remove everything related to the liveness prof in readiness prof. When this is done, we need to change the ID to cross servers ready, the one that it was in the service, and the name of the pod and the container name. With the image that now is going to be nginx, now it's time to create the second pod. Now we save and apply again with kubectl apply minus f. And now if we execute again kubectl get all, we can see that currently our pods are still not running. And the reason is because we are using Google Cloud with GKE Autopilot and those pods take time to start. If we execute now kubectl describe pod cross servers ready, we'll see that the pod is not yet ready. When the pod is up and running, now we can execute kubectl get all and see that everything is up and running. Now we can check with kubectl describe service service and ready and check that the endpoint is there. And that's all. And now you only need to remember that always is better to think twice when you are in the CKA certification test. Like our video and don't forget to subscribe.